Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I have a new digital download out. Um, these are all just funny little paper pieced art dolls. So essentially what they are is um, pieces of paper, you know, cut into shapes and made into art dolls. And so they're all computer generated, but that's the that's the idea. So they're not perfect, they're abstract. A lot of them are very abstract. But they're just kind of fun and I thought they would be super fun to make um, like greeting cards with or of course journal cards and journal ephemera and all that like we always do but um, I did make some bigger a little bit bigger sizes so you could use them on greeting cards if you wanted to like Mother's Day card Father's Day card um, so there's people all kinds of funny people and um, dogs and cats I mean of course not every breed or anything like that but just some fun little um, little things to play with. And I like this one. It looks like she's got print on her dress, like a book page. I did just print mine regular. I didn't do a border. You may want to do a border. I don't know how it happens, but I make plenty of room around the edges of my pages, you know, so that it doesn't cut stuff off. But inevitably, the printer chomps edges. So anyways... Or if your printer has like a print to size feature, something like that. There's 10 pages in this kit. And yes, a lot, you know, like duplicates, like this guy and this guy, same, same thing. I mean, I flip them either way, that kind of thing. But, um, and same with the dogs and all that. But I just did them all different sizes. So if you just want a little one for a piece of ephemera or a bigger one for a card, you've got the different sizes. So, but there's still a lot of variation in the dolls themselves but they're just super fun. Yeah, I came up with these um, just playing around on my computer. Uh, and I found, you know, put in paper art dolls and it came up with all kinds of cool ones. Lots of variety for sure. Old, young, male, female, you know, there's little bigger. So anyhow, just a fun little kit and all my digitals are still 30% off in my Etsy shop. So take advantage of it because that's a good time to go buy the new ones, right? I don't think I'm going to need my tear ruler. So we are going to play with watercolor again. I'm sure you're shocked <laughs> because I keep getting ideas. So this is that, um, it's like fabric tape, tape, twill tape, maybe. See how it tears like fabric, kind of? It's um, medical tape is what it is. But um, I thought it might be fun to, you know, make our own almost like washi tapes or the twill tape like Tim Holtz has. I mean, clearly, um, I'm not doing super perfect designs that look specifically like a certain flower or anything like that. We're just going to do some watercolor on them and then do some mark making. So um, I don't know how well they're going to stick after that. So this is all a trial for me. I haven't tried this before. So it could be a complete disaster and not work at all. But I'm hoping that we might get some fun um, pieces of tape to use. Sorry, it's really dark today. Like really cloudy and icky. And I don't know. I just feel like I have no light in here. <laughs> so I apologize. Um but anyway, so we're just going to play around like we've been doing. I'm not really going to do a whole lot of different things. Just once we get them dry, we'll just do some mark making instead of stamping. So we'll just use different things. I mean, it's still essentially stamping, but we're just going to use different things than uh, we would if we were using stamps. But you can use stamps. You can use anything you want. You do it the way you want to do it because that's how we should do everything. These are just ideas or starting points or... It might just spark something, and then you might go do something entirely, entirely different, okay? So I'm going to start, and I have no idea if this is even going to work. It may just be a mess, and it may just soak it up so much that it won't do anything. But we're going to try and see what we get. So how you all doing? I hope you're fantastic. I'm doing good. I'm, uh... You know, this has just been too fun for me. I've been working on those art dolls for, my goodness, I'm thinking it's been over a month now. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, <laughs> by the time you cut them all out and do all, you know, play around with them and stuff. But anyway, they are super fun. 
And I think that they'll be fun to, like I said, making cards with those I think would be really fun. Mm -hmm. I gotta move this because I just keep bonking the light and then it shakes everything. The color on this comes out cool, but I'm not sure what's happening. It's like it's doing this. So um, yeah, I, I don't know what it's gonna end up looking like. Cause like I said, I haven't tried this. So this is all just trial and error. I'm doing the bright colors for my gnome journal right now, but we'll do some less bright colors too. I need some water. I'm almost out of my green paint in my Arteza little pans here. <laughs> I'll have to see if I can order just one pan. I think you can, but I'm not positive on that. I mean, this might be real cool. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of looking cool. I'm just a little worried with the scrunching up thing. And like I said, it might ruin the sticky, but I mean, on washi, we have to glue all the time anyway, so would it really be any different if we had to put a little glue on the back? Not really. So yeah, just a fun little <laughs> another day of me playing in the watercolors. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really hooked right now. It's like, that's all I can think of ideas for. I keep thinking I need to make something else. But um, every idea I come up with involves watercolor. And I think I'm just really enjoying playing with the watercolors themselves. And so can you do? Sometimes you just got to go with it because the brain, the creative thing is not under my control is what I'll say about that. I don't know, like some people might have more control over it. I don't. And once I get something in my head, I got to do it because otherwise I can't create other things, if you know what I'm saying. Because I just get too focused on whatever the thing is that's got me. But I mean, my goodness, look at the color on that for watercolor. That's crazy. Crazy good. Okay, sorry, this light. I have to move the light a little. <laughs> I'm trying to see, but um, it's bad. Okay, so let's use maybe some other colors. It's gonna be bad if it all like curls up like that. Maybe if we put something heavy on there. <laughs> I mean, by the time we get down here, it's gonna be this wad. So let's try putting that right there and see if that helps. <laughs> I'll just drip water and paint all over my punch. I don't know why everything gets so messed up around here. <laughs> it's it's, it's um, puzzling, isn't it? Just a real puzzle. Now I got my, these are just uh, Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. So, But you can probably find other um, craft stores that carry their own brands of um, paints if you don't like Hobby Lobby or whatever. This is what I have and what I'm using. Just so you know what it is, if you're curious. Kind of want to get rid of that color up there. Because I don't really want this red and yellow in this one. I mean, it's got a little on the edge, but. And I'm thinking you could, when you're done, tear these so that, um, you know, you could use them um, torn, like in strips, like smaller strips, so that you don't have to use the entire thing if you don't want to. Sorry, I'm trying to find my distress oxide. As well. And this one's the walnut stain. And painting with this is all thanks to Michelle at Creative Cove, because that's who I saw do it. I've heard other people say, oh yeah, I do that all the time. I just never thought of it myself, so <laughs> I thank her for her idea. It might be kind of cool. Ooh, coffee would probably be cool too. I mean, 
just anything, anything you have. You could probably use food dyes. You could probably, I mean, if you don't have watercolors or whatever, you could probably just do loads of different things and it would work fine. So don't get caught up in the, you know, I don't have whatever the thing is. Anything that uh, you could put some water to and get some color and do this. <laughs> Maybe you just think this is insane. So, you know, there's that too. I know some of you have said that you're enjoying the watercolor. So I'm very happy because I'm like, gosh, I hope I don't lose all my viewers because my brain won't stop with the watercolor thing. Because I'm already struggling in that department as it is. But I think you could use these for lots of different things. And if there's colors you don't like, like you only like the bright colors, just use the bright colors. I, yeah, I mean, that's awesome. I just know that I do a lot with the stains and whatever. little bit more of this my um oh I know what I can use the, the little inker because that one's it's not dry but it's not as wet as I would like it to be to do this but this you just use like a drop and you're like styling and that's the distress oxide it's just a reinker in the walnut that's all it is And for intensity of color, these are really kind of great to paint with, honestly. They do a very nice job. I'll take a little more gold. Strips are always hard for me because of the space, you know. It's just kind of tricky. Okay, I'm going to go something totally different. Of course, you can um, make them all very similar if you want to just stick with certain colors because they do kind of tend to bleed into each other here. So that's per your prerogative to do. I want to see what all we can get out of these. Just have some fun with it. I'm mixing colors and I don't know what my colors are because I don't have my little card that goes on my watercolors, but it's just the Arteza brand. I like the brown and this color together. Yeah, so I have no idea if this is going to ruin the sticky, but I don't know if it does. It will survive. It'll still be usable, that's what I'm saying. Getting some lighter gold over here. And now I don't care if this gold goes into that one. That's fine. I like the way that's bleeding into that one. Kind of interesting.
I have lots of stickery, stickery things to use because I keep making stickers and I keep <laughs> doing all these things. It really does soak up quite a bit of water. So like I said, I have no idea what they'll end up looking like in the end, but hopefully it'll work. So I have one, um, if you haven't heard me do this before but one cup of clean water and then one of dirty water just so that if you just want some water you can get some without you know getting the muddied water into your piece I mean I'm sure most of y'all know that but I just like to tell people So this probably wouldn't be something that I would add things onto as far as like little bits of ephemera or something. Um, you could do a little bit of fabric, might be kind of cool. But it would be more of something I would put on as a background. I mean, a lot like what we do with washi, really. anymore. I'm like, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this. I don't know if it's going to oxidize very much. Well, I guess you can't tell when it's still wet. But... I kind of don't mind some parts where it doesn't really get a whole lot of anything. I love these metallics because they just do some really cool stuff. They're a little bit better on paper, I am going to say, because they do this right now, this bleeding out, but um, it kind of seems like then they just disappear on these. It's crazy how it's bunching up so much. I never dreamed that that's what would happen. I just thought it might lose its stickiness. I mean, it still might, but it's so crazy. I'm gonna do some purple. This is a little more of a, that's more violet, this is more purple, however you want to say that.
think we're going to put some silver in this one. Sorry if you hear my stomach. <laughs> it's uh, raising a ruckus. Almost put the dirty water in there. I mean, I don't know if you didn't know it would have been noticeable, but didn't really want dirty water in there. I don't want purple in there. You stop now. <laughs> Be naughty. I guess if you really want to keep your colors separated, don't do a bunch of them at once. <laughs> or do them all the same and then do another batch of other colors. I like that a lot. Definitely doesn't really want to take the water, that's for sure. But it does. Um, what do I want to put with that? Hmm. I like this um, copper color. I like it with the blue too. I like everything with this turquoisey blue for some reason. It really does curl. That is so crazy how it does that. Sorry, I get pretty quiet doing this kind of stuff because it's new and um, my brain's just kind of thinking about what's next. So this is a pretty quiet video. But I guess if you're trying to relax, that's a good way to relax, huh? A little more ASMR.
putting a little gold in there. A little more <clears throat> almost sky blue than the turquoisey blue, which is fine. Okay, somehow I'm gonna get these dry <laughs> and then we'll come back and um, do some sort of stamping because you know I am gonna use. Um, different objects to make like my own stamp pieces so that I could if I wanted to scan them or whatever but I don't know they might be a hard hard thing to do that with but we'll see we'll see what we get once it's dry I'm not sure how I'm gonna get them dry because I can't use the heat gun with that plastic back there so hold on sorry I just keep wanting to add things I wish the little swirlies would stay in a little bit more than it does with the metallic, but I think it just gets soaked up real fast. Just using silver on that one and I forgot. I don't know if this will make this tape like really stiff too, so I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I'm going to get it dry and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and it's dry and you can see I touched it before it was dry because <laughs> I can never leave it alone, right? But anyway, it is dry now and so I just have all kinds of random things up here that I'm going to use to try stamping these without stamps. And we'll see what we get. I have no idea. And it does make a mark. It's not very dark, but the thing I have to remember is um, this is like fabric. So it's going to end up stamping a little bit like fabric, honestly, um, instead of being like dark like it would be on paper. Because this is my good um, black ink, so it's not like it's just a, a ink pad that's not doing very well and you can see the black out there so you just have to know that you're going to get a lighter version than you would get otherwise yeah it's, it's kind of weird how it just sucks it up and then I have this um, glue stick, little glue stick, but it's got these cool, and it doesn't make a whole lot of design, does it? Well, it kind of does. Those are probably hard for you guys to see because it's so um, like it doesn't it doesn't put down a lot of ink. I guess you can kind of see, huh? kind of the thought that like anything really will work as a stamp. I think we all get caught up in, oh, I don't have stamps for this or that. I mean, I do it. But you can just use random things for stamps. I know I'm going to end up with a lot of circles just because that's <laughs> those are things I have that could possibly work. But you might also be able to draw. Let's try. I got my sister gave me cool micron um, pens. And so a lot of them are like this, that fine nib style. This particular one is a different end. But anyways, we'll see if it'll draw on this. I don't know if it will. Oh, it does. 
So you can just do some fun like, I don't know, doodles. They don't have to be fancy, like you don't have to be um, super good at drawing. You can just do some lines and some things like that. These are just a straight line and then one end I make a little fatter. Yeah, that one's not as good. Let's try. <laughs> it kind of gets uh, out of ink fast. But it works, like it definitely will put a mark on there. So I'm gonna make this end fatter this time. But yeah, you can just make whatever little dashes, lines, whatever you like. You can do some really fine lines, almost like burlap or something like that, uh, cross, crisscross weave. And go right over the top of other designs. I need to try this kind of thing with um, paper too. Make some of the lines longer than others. It just adds more interest rather than making them all exact. I mean, if you like them exact, then you can definitely do that. I'm not saying that, that there's anything wrong with that. It's just sometimes it adds more interest if they're all a little bit different. So like that cross hatching works good. can do a line and then do like almost like sticks going this way and that way except maybe make one end of the stick a little thicker. Almost like those signs like maybe on the Wizard of Oz or something. The old wooden signs. You can go this way, you can go that way kind of thing. Of course, you can always do your own other circles or designs. I have a cork. See, like I said, I'm going to have a lot of circles. Because <laughs> that's what I've got. I don't know what happened to that little piece of plastic. I don't know if you guys remember it that my husband um, made on the... 3D printer, not like on purpose. He just, it was just a little scrap that was left over that I glommed onto for the longest time. Oh, I have this one that's just numbers. That is a, a real stamp, but um, it's just, you know, you can find them everywhere. At the office supply place. So it's just going to be bits and pieces of um, this that you're going to get when you tear it or whatever you decide to do with it. I even have this credit card. You can get, do the numbers, but they're backwards <laughs> because... I flipped it over, you know, obviously, right? Uh, what else could we use? There's something. Yeah, I wish I had that. I don't know what in the world happened to it. The end of this would work. It's another circle, though. Oh, the bubbles are under there. <laughs> Now I have a nice mess back here. Great. Fantastic. So basically, you're just making designs. And you can even do stuff like fake writing, like, or go around and just do a check, a number. 
um, do like you're writing a story. That fake writing thing. I'm not very good at it because I don't do it a lot, but some people are really good at it. Looks like doctor's handwriting. <laughs> um, these circles you can do some little designs on. Some little like circles along the edge or little like scribbles. Just adds a little interest to them. Put some X's here and there. Almost like they got cross stitched. I mean, this is going to be background, so that's the thing that you need to think about, is you don't need a lot um, of real reliable, like, oh, that looks exactly like, you know, this thing or whatever. It is just adds something in the background. Plus, it's just fun, <laughs> I think. Maybe I'm nutty, but it's just fun to do stuff like this and let your brain just kind of relax and do whatever crazy thing it decides is entertaining to it. You could write quotes on there if you wanted to. This one I'm not doing a lot to. I might end up stamping that with the same stamps or um, like I said, I'm waiting on those like art stamps that <sighs> it's like, hurry up already. I am going to use this little stamp just because it's lines. It's not a lot. I mean, you could easily do this with a, a pen too, but I'm trying to go a little faster. I'm sure you guys get the idea. I do like the, that cross hatching look. I mean, even if you just do lines one direction, it's giving some kind of interest. Could do the old counting. Unfortunately, me drawing a straight line is um, pretty much a non-existent thing. I don't know, it just adds a little bit of interest. You guys are probably sick of me saying that. <laughs> You're like, yeah, got it, thanks. <laughs> Letters. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna stop there. But you get the idea. This is a fun thing to do. Like, um, look at my hands. 
watercolor paper or whatever if you do some watercoloring and then get you know get it all dry go sit on the couch watch a movie and just doodle around on it it's definitely it's fun it's a lot of fun I kind of did that last night okay so maybe what we'll do is try I'm gonna pause for just a second and wash my hand just so I don't get this on everything else I touch for the rest of the day so hold on just a second okay it's a little bit better <laughs> some of it won't come off but so I have a piece of book page that's been folded in half and so we're just gonna make a little journaling card or it could be a pocket whatever you would like and it's gonna just depend on the size of your book page it doesn't matter this one's not a very big one as you can probably tell it's just a little card So maybe we will use, since these are kind of brightly colored, a little bit of Tim Holtz um, tissue. I like this, this letter one is good. And that's just an example. Of course you can do whatever you like. This one is his, I'm sure you guys know, but I'm just typeset. My sister got me a cool one for my birthday that's um, architecture, but I feel like this one might go a little better with this particular thing. So that's what I'm using on here. Set this out of the way for a minute. I need a glue page. And a glue stick. Um, you can use Mod Podge or um, Matte Medium or whatever it is you like to use to glue tissue type stuff on. I have always had luck with the glue stick, so I just use that. But you do gotta kind of be careful because it will just tear it. And I like it a little wrinkly, so. Luckily, because I always get it wrinkly. <laughs> Good thing I like it. All right, let's do, uh, where are my scissors? Oh, I was cutting stuff out. Sorry about that. Okay, just curl it around, but I'll put something else on the back. Look at my bubble wrap mess. I made a good mess with that. I'll have to get my alcohol on there. Okay, so now we could take a piece of our handy dandy little tape. I'll just use this end. I like the idea of it being torn, so I'm good with that. I did get it too long. I want it like that. So we're just going to tear this off and we can save this piece and use it somewhere else. I like the strings and it's definitely still sticky. I'm going to put a little glue just because that's what I do, but it would probably stick just fine. So it didn't ruin it. Oh, and I did just stick this. Sorry, I figured you guys figured it out. I'm sure you did. It's just a piece of acetate from packaging that I stuck that tape onto originally. And maybe we'll use one of the new, I cut a few of these out while I was waiting for that to dry. New little art dolls here. She's pretty cute. Um, I feel like this needs a little more. Uh, maybe stamping like this guy. This needs a little, little something up there. She's cute. 
They're definitely silly. I think it would be fun to put a saying or something on it. This is the Tim Holtz snarky one because that's what I've got. I like the me, sarcastic, never. When in doubt, vacation. I'm wondering if one of the black ones might show up better if I put it like right there. I feel like the me sarcastic never just kind of fits her for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. I almost feel like it needs something else. I'm just not sure what. Maybe a piece of this with the roses. It's probably that I just really hate my handwriting. <laughs> so yeah, I think that probably has something to do with it. But it just felt like it needed something else too, so. Anyway, going that direction. Now this probably isn't going to show up that great. Well, it, it'll show up up there, huh? So I just want to ink the edge a little because it's so white. And these art dolls I printed or, you know, had them um, on that kind of brown background and that's just so they're a little easier to cut out if you leave the line around them and some of them had such white like this one she's almost just got white skin like the paper white and so it was really hard to see them on the white background anyway and then if I went a little lighter some of the other dolls their skin was the same color or their hair was the same color I don't know so anyway I just went with that kind of I don't know what you call that I mean, it is almost a flesh tone, but it was the best one for all, all combined for them to show up, okay, so that you can cut them out, because it is a pain to cut them out when they're, um, like, their arms the same color as the piece of paper, you know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. If you're wondering why those were that color, that's why. And I thought about doing some other colors, but then I was like, yeah, but then... Depending on what you put it on, it might look weird in a, say like a pink or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I went with. There was much consternation on the whole topic. She is really cute. I just love stuff like this. I hope you guys like them. I know that this kind of thing isn't for everybody and I understand that. I don't expect everybody to be, you know, liking it because a lot of people don't like stuff like this and that's fine. Uh, but I, re I really love art dolls. So I hope you guys like them. They're just kind of fun. So, and then I would back that, but yeah, isn't that tape fun? Super fun. All right. I hope you guys like it. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day and I will see you again tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.